I want to talk about a whole group of people that met Jesus. Met him in a spectacular situation. Jesus was riding into Jerusalem on an ass. He was coming in for what was to be his final teaching week. They didn't know that. They didn't understand, but they thought this was a great moment. And there was a scripture which talks about just that amazing moment when the Messiah rides into Jerusalem on an ass. And maybe some of them knew that. And so in this moment, the crowd is, is, is on the streets. They're excited. They've got palm branches. They're laying garments down in the street so that the donkey can walk on them and the group following Jesus can do that. And there's Jesus riding in and they're shouting out, Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna to the son of David. It's a tremendous moment. It should be the high point of ministry. A whole crowd of people, maybe some who'd been fed when the 5,000 were fed, maybe some who'd seen miracles, and now all with one voice crying out on the street, Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. And there's so much excitement. These people are thrilled. I think they've got an expectation that this is a, a, a great moment, a moment of victory in the city of Jerusalem, a moment in the history of the nation, a moment in the history of the world. But the same crowd that cries out that, uh, s that, that day, the same crowd, almost certainly the same crowd, a few days later has got a different cry on their lips. It says this in verse 14 of chapter 19. Now it was the preparation day of the Passover and about the sixth hour and Pilate said to the Jews, behold your king. Now isn't that amazing? You would have thought that this crowd who'd acknowledged Jesus as king a few days before would be saying, yes, our king. But when Pilate says, behold your king, and he'd already said, behold the man, holding up Jesus as the most amazing example of manhood. When he says, behold your king, they don't say yes. They say, we have no king but Caesar. And they shout, crucify, 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 looking at Jesus. And you realize that this crowd that had been so thrilled a few days before is a fickle crowd. And those who wanted to embrace him are now crying out to dismiss him. It's hard to realise just how fickle people can be. But you have to take this on board when you're looking at these encounters with Jesus. That there are some people who seem enthusiastic one moment and totally disenchanted the next. It's hard to explain. But there's something about coming to terms with Jesus that makes it difficult. Because... There's so much that, that draws you to Jesus and yet there's so much that you have to come to terms with when you're face to face with Jesus. He confronts us and he doesn't just make it easy for us. He wants us to be able to declare you are the king and to be able to declare that with confidence in the face of all comers, even in the face of the Roman governor who's there representing Caesar and the occupying power. I think this encounter with Jesus painful though it is, is really important. To see a crowd that was thrilled and then become fickle is really a challenge.